Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a little scroll effect for you today. If I scroll this page down, there's a little grey box you'll see up here. Your title goes there. When it gets up to about halfway, a little button's going to fade in. There we go. And it's fully in there when we get to the top of the page. And your customers can click on it. And that's a nice little effect. It's because the button's fading in there, that's going to get people's attention as soon as it fades in. And this is really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm going to add a new module to the second column. I've got a row here, the green tab with two columns in it. I'm going to add a module to my second column here. And I'm going to use a couple of modules. For the top one, I'm going to use a blurb purely because it's got a title and some text. You can use any module you wish. Obviously, the focus of this is going to be on the button. OK, I'm not going to edit any of the text. I'm going to leave it just as it is. Obviously, put your title in there. Content goes in there. Let's move this over so you can see what's going on. I'm not going to use an image or icon on mine today. Like I said, I just use the blurb module for the convenience of the title and the text. OK, I'm going to pop that text all in the middle now. So I'm going over to the Design tab, to Text. I'm just going to center align it. I'm going to give it a bit of spacing all around so that when I put a background color in, it's not sort of buffered up against the sides. So let's close that up. Spacing, padding. I'm just going to give it 25 pixels all around. Just put in the 25, it'll put in the pics for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. And we'll do the same for left and right. OK, that's fine. Now what I want to do, I want to have a button just underneath it, similar to this one here. So again, I'm going to hit the plus to put a button in there. There's our little button module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll give you an extra dozen or so modules to display your products with. It's great. So let's grab the button. Now the reason that mine is red, if anybody's wondering, instead of the default sort of light blue outline button, is because that's how I've got it styled in my customizer. But of course, you can go to the design of your button and design it any way you wish by going to button and hit the custom styles, text color, background, hover color, if you hit the little arrow. And that's common to most Divi modules when you're setting a hover value for something. If you just hover over the dark writing of whatever it is you want to affect, you'll see some icons appear. If there's an arrow there, it'll allow you to set a desktop state one style and a hover state of a completely different one if you wish. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. OK, well, let's just save this a minute. To make this all stand out a little bit better, I'm going to give the column that it's sitting in a little bit of a background like I've done with this one. So let's go back into the row, the green tab there. I'm working on column two. And I want to give it a sort of similar light gray background to that one. So I'll make it black and there it is. Click on the black field and you can pop it up or down wherever you want it. I want my fairly light similar to that one next door. I think that's close enough. I could have copied the hex color from it, but that's fine. OK. I'm going to leave that just like that. Now my button's a little too far down for me. I'd prefer if it was up at the top a little bit more. So I'm going to use a bit of spacing to pull it up and then we'll add a bit of space to the bottom as well. So I'm going to go into the button, I'm going to go to the design tab, I'm going to go down to spacing and I want to bring it up a bit. So I'm going to do that with negative margin on the top. So if you flip it down, it's got a negative value. I'm going to try 25. I think that's what I've been using for most of my things here today. It looks about right. And I want to add a bit of padding on the bottom so the, the gray overlaps a little bit there. So I'm going to give it plus 25 on the bottom. There we go. That's great. OK, this is where the, the little bit of magic comes in. I'm not sure if we can see it on the back end or not. Yeah, we got the edit. So 
as you can see or as you can't see that's not fading in so we'll, we'll actually see the scroll effect on the front end there so what I want I kind of want this button to be invisible until it gets about 30% of the page and I want it to fade in and be fully visible at about 60% that way it's going to get their eyes to see it when it fades in it's going to get people's eyeballs on it which is what you want with things on websites so let's go over to the advanced tab and this is again common to most Divi modules if you go over to the advanced tab they'll have a scroll effects at the bottom and this is where you can set your effects and you've got vertical up and down horizontal left and right you've got fade in out which we'll be using today You've got scaling up and down, which will make it bigger and smaller. You've got rotating, which obviously will twist it around. And you can blur things in and out. Like I say, I'm going to use the fade for mine today. So I'm going to click on the fade. I'm going to hit the switch to enable it. And we've got a little sliding scale right here. Now looking at that, op starting opacity, for anybody that doesn't know, opacity is transparency or see-throughness. So styling opacity is set to zero, which means it'll be totally invisible. Then according to this, when it gets to the middle, it's going to be up at 100% and it's going to stay there until the end. Now you can split these up with the little arrows here, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one up to about 60%. And I'm going to take the other one down to about 30%. Now 30%. I still want it to be invisible. So I'm going to change that 100% to a zero. I'm just going to put the zero in. It'll put the percentage. And then when it gets to 60%, I want it to be 100% visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this slider, left click and just drag it down to 60%. Now when it gets to 60%, it's going to be fully visible. But also what you can do if you didn't want to split that up, just double click on it and bring those two back together we can bring our little spot down to 30 there we go so we've got it zero at 30 and by the time it gets to 160 percent it'll be up at 100 percent visibility now play with this and get this exactly how you want it and also you may have noticed when we go in here this is where you can set sticky position so if you wanted it to stick to the top when it got there it would do Okay, well, let's save our changes and see what we've got. Save my draft. Exit the visual builder. Roll on down and there it is. As you can see, or as you can't see, there's no button there when it gets up to 30%. And remember, we had it set to the element itself. So it's when the button gets up to the 30% mark, it's going to start fading in like that. When it gets to the 60, it should be fully faded in and like I say when people are scrolling around your site that's going to get their attention which is what you want so there you go guys there's a simple scroll effect with a fading in button with some text there with no coding using the fantastic Divi theme so I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.